Hey everyone, uh, just showing you a uh, way how to get so a lot of loot and also the accommodations and whatnot that you would need for the wastes over in Silver Wastes, of course, the map, so that you can potentially, from PvP, go and earn a ton of money by uh, farming and using your uh, bandit crests, basically, so you can turn them in for keys and start doing the chest farm. So what we're going to do is, one of these first phases, is quickly just uh, open up a reward track, and this is going to be one part of this video, uh, which we're going to show you. So what we're going to do is, we're going to open our bags, we've got all all our buffs of course and we're going to start opening these you can see how many crests you get and then I can show you how much how many crests it actually costs to go and get one of those keys so you can open one of those chests in the silver wastes there are other stages that you need to have completed before probably going there um, but for now I'm going to show you the magic find part which is going to be sorry the reward track opening part so let's go and open some of these bags see what we get as per usual you're going to get a ton of loot as well um, but you will be getting some of the bandit crests. I've got a bit of a mix up of different loot here as well. I'm not going to do what I normally do. I'm not going to open every. Well, I will open everything, but here we go. This is the uh, Silky Sand, so you're going to start getting some crests from this, like geodes, and uh, as well, you only, as you can see, I only got one there, which is not a massive amount, but there we go, we've got um, some lock picks actually as well, so those are quite useful for also what we will need to do, well, you can do use those in dry top, not really with the main purpose of what we're going for here, but we're going for the banding crest mainly in this video, Let's see what else we get here. Oh god, that's that's something else. Do do do, <laughs> fail. Okay, so from this one as well, you can get some lock picks as well as the standard, you know, the geodes and the piles of silky sand, which you can get the bandit crest from. We're just going to select anything here because I don't care about this. Um, one day maybe I will, but you know, I can one day try and get that as well. So I'm going through two stacks of two fifty. It's going down over here, as you can see. Actually, sorry, I can do that. There you go. Uh, there's three crests there. Do, 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 do. This is one and a bit reward tracks of this, I think, so you have to bear with me a little bit. Only getting six there, and you don't get a ton of them crests from this, but this is just what you do. You can do if you are thinking about going for uh, this track. You can use it extra across Tyria to get yourself some more cashy toe, which is always very, very nice. Okay, so we have a lot of loot that we now need to think about salvaging or getting rid of in some way. So we'll salvage the cloth stuff. Uh, we won't sell it this time around. We'll just salvage it to get the cloth so we can just do this a little bit quicker. Um, the other stuff we can vendor or we can put into the... Uh, Da, 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 da. What's it called? The Mystic Forge to see if we can get some rares, but on this occasion I'm just going to sell them to a vendor, which is going to be a ton easier. So we can sell that, we can sell that, we can sell the junk, sell, 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 sell. You can definitely get like a couple of silver here, which is pretty good. Sell, 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 sell that, sell that, and there we go. This is the quick way. Oh yeah! Let's try and open more of these chests. Let's keep going. Oh, there we go. Charge lowstone. That's not bad. Let's just quick have a quick look. See how much they're worth. Whoa! Three gold and twenty-eight silver. That's not a bad little pickup, is it? That's the one. Uh, and being a level eight character doesn't actually. Um, What's that? I have no idea what this is. Okay. That's interesting. Never seen that before. It's a weapon you can pick the stats for. It's interesting. It's a level 44 weapon. No idea what that's for. Maybe someone can let me know. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a new random thing. And I'm level 80 on this character, so I don't really understand that. So we'll just keep going through these to see if we can get some more stuff. Ah, we actually got a key. That's useful. It's going down, by the way. There was a stack there. Uh, there's a stack there. Sorry. I'll just click on the stack. It's actually going to go through because that might be a bit more useful to see rather than you thinking that I'm just randomly clicking on something else. Do, 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 do. Wow, okay, so we already got two bandit skeleton keys. Those are the keys we need to open the chests in the champion chest run uh, over in the Silver Wastes, or whatever they call it. I'm not sure what they call it exactly, but I kind of like the name of it. Not sure why I did that. Um, 
sometimes I do like to salvage these because you can get Aerocalc or more and you know we're still not sure exactly what mats we'll need in the future for the uh, new legendaries and whatnot. so I kind of like to do that okay so let's sell some of this stuff again da 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 Not that one, not the cloth, not the cloth stuff. Righty ho. Compact that. Let's keep going. I know it's actually salvage these bits here. There we go. I'm going to salvage that just because I can't be asked. Oh, I got some res there as well. Da -da. One, two, three. Okay, let's just stick that there for now. Let's open these bags. These boxes. I'm not sure how much else we're going to get from this in terms of the sand and whatnot, but I don't know how 100% positive how much that's going to be definite that I'm going to get more or not. But I just want to make sure by opening everything I can. It is mainly those boxes which are themed to it. So you can see these uh, caches are the ones that I'm actually getting a ton of stuff from. Oh wow! I just got Ember Glow! No way. Sick. Okay. Damn it, I bought that recently. <laughs> we're actually we're actually gonna sell that later. Not right now though. Um da -da 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 -da. let me see, let's just have a look. Deposit some of these collectibles and compact. Jesus, the one time I'm not really aiming for anything and I just get stuff. That's so typical. Commendations wise, how many are we getting so far? Okay, we're getting quite a few. Kind of lost them in the massiveness of my bag at the moment. We've got 21 at the moment. Righty ho, let's just open that one for fun. Because we like to have fun. Getting a ton of lockpicks, aren't we? Alright, let's open these. As these are the main bags for getting the dust and whatnot. And the crests, if we get any. Okay, let's just quickly deposit that, and let's just quickly salvage these. Really, I could just speed this up and just show you another way, but, you know, apparently that's just not something I'm going to do. <laughs> right, okay. I just When there's something I have to click, I have to click it. Look, click, click, click. Go through, clicky. Right, we got some more sand. We've got another stack somewhere as well. You can see on the right hand side what's coming through. Geode, lockpick. Geode, geode, geode. Bandit crest. Another key! So we've already got four chests you can go and open at least um, from this, and you'll be able to buy some more with the crests, which I have to. Well, I'll show you exactly how much those cost when we go over to that. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna quickly I'm gonna sell that. More often than not, it's nothing anyway. Da, 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 da. Let's just salvage all the cloth that we got. Which was none. <laughs> it's useful, isn't it? Alright, let's just sell some of this crap. Da 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 One, two, three. So the junk. That, 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 that. So that one, and that one, and that one, that one. Get a lot of res here, you can see. Again. Um and if these res are not worth more than an exoplasm, uh a glob, sorry. Then just salvage them. Because uh pretty much the reason you're doing it. Or if you want to sub, you know, put them on in the Mystic Forge, then you can also do that, you know. Crafting stuffs. Oh, we got a crystal light zone there. It's just 37 silver maximum. Okay, that's unfortunate. I was just getting all excited there. Okay, we've got four keys. We shouldn't be getting anything, any other keys or crests, really, to be honest. No, I don't think so. That's another chest for another thing. Let's just open these dusts. Sands, sorry. Open the sands. Search for the sands. Another key! More crests and geodes. Okay. 
Let's compact that quickly. And um, we'll salvage the silk. We'll salvage that one as well, why not? Uh, we'll salvage all of this. No, we're not. We're not going to salvage all of it now. I'll run out of thingies. Ones that I could be bothered to use anyway. I'm just going to sell that to them. Because it's worth the same amount. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Look at the 57 scraps. Silk scraps there. Whoa. That's money, money. It's one gold. How much more is it going to be? Hey, silver. Meh. Let's just sell that. It's not too shabby, is it? Everyone. Okay. Right, we've got a rare there. Rare there. Rare there. Wow, we got a lot of rares, actually. Jesus. Okay, we got a ton of them. Okay, let's use these Mystic Salvage kits and see what we get. Let's do this as if it was a normal track as well, just to see uh, the extra stuff we can get. Remember, I, I didn't check any of those. I'm just assuming that they're not worth as much, which is not what I should have done. That was naughty. Should have seen how much they were going to be worth and see how much that's worth as an example. All right, so it's worth under like 30 silver, which is kind of what a glob is worth. 31 at the moment, it's around 30 normally. So, um, salvaging that is a good idea. And we got an exit plasm, so there you go. Made a little bit of money there. Um, da, 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 sell those. Did I not sell those? Okay. That's weird. Um, da, 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 let's just open that one for the sake of opening it. Let's just salvage it quick. Okay, so also I will end up selling that as well. I am just going to quickly finish off this track just to show you exactly maybe how much money I've made in a short time, which is always very nice. Da, 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 da. But look, uh, what else we got? We got. Uh, da, 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 da. So we got that Ember Glow, where that's going to sell for like. Free gold, so it's even worth doing it on its own just because it got quite a few gold there. Um, the bandit skeleton keys got six in the end of those. Um, let's just open that sack. Oh, god, I forgot these sacks give the sand as well. I might get another key if we're lucky. No, nah, we're not gonna get another key. I'll oh, screw you for this. <laughs> it's typical when I'm doing a video that, that doesn't happen. Um, geodes as well are quite useful for different things, but we will go to the vendor and uh, silver waste, and I'll show you that exactly. 31 crests, there you go. Bandit crests, not too bad in the end for that either. Uh, just salvage these bits here. Da, 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 da. Okay, awesomeness. <laughs> Um, the, all the rest of this stuff, you know, it'll sell for a little bit of money. And also there is some cases there, just to get some levels. Just quickly just open these to see what else we got. You know, green items, a lot of cloth there actually, again, as well as uh, quite a few rares. So that's pretty nice. Uh, another rare there. We got an elaborate totem, which is also pretty sick. Um, da, 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 da. Otherwise, not too bad. Um, this is, you know, this isn't going to be worth too much. Let's just have a quick look to see how much I made there. It was about one gold seventy, but you know, I've got another four-ish gold coming from the um, from the Ember Glow, and the, you know, I'll get some more gold out of this. These items that I'm selling here. This isn't the main reason why we're doing this. The main reason I'm doing this today is to get these crests and also these keys because you can use them to farm in the silver wastes and the crests, the crests by the keys which is this key here and you can go on a bit of a farming mission and get some nice loot that way so if you have access to the silver wastes which I would Garrett, which well, I would say is you know the next part of this you need to think about doing it before or after whatever you want to do um, and when you're bored and you want to watch something and you know you think you could farm then Join the champ train, which I'll show you in the next part of this video. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. This, the next part of this video really is about going to the Silver Wastes and going to this vendor to get some more keys. And as you can see in uh, Silver Wastes, this is exactly the spot where you need to be to buy these keys. Now in terms of where these Silver Wastes are in the world and how you get there in PvP, I will maybe do another video and show you how you can get there in a very fast way. Now more than likely it's going to be something, you know, either starting off in the Asura's starting zone or even starting off over here in the, the human starting zone and going all the way through to Brisbane Wildlands. But for now, 
You're going to be at this waypoint, that is Camp Resolve, over in Silver Waste. Now you need to get into the Silver Waste map as well, which is another interesting way of getting in, of course, and that is going to be the way to get through that. So let's quickly go into the map and see where we are, and then we are at this vendor here. So the pre Priory Historian is the Bandit Crest Collector. So you obviously do your thing, press F, and what the hell? There it is. Forgot that I put it down there. There we go, sir. Right, so you can buy a ton of stuff with these bandit crests. Now what you want to do, obviously, you can buy these different things. You can buy the mini Mordrim husk and stuff like that as well. And the other, you know, the ascended rings. But really what we're after is going to be these banded skeleton keys. You can buy one for five crests. And we got in that last reward track, we did indeed get 30. So you're going to get at least... You know, I think you'll get at least six keys. You'll be able to get at least six more keys um, on top of what you're getting. Now, I did have a track and a half, so it might be, you know, a little bit less, a little bit more. It depends. But I'd just do this, you know, after you've done a couple of tracks worth of Silver Wastes. Uh, Maguma Waste, sorry, reward tracks. And then just go into this. Go, Come here. Buy some skeleton keys. Now, I've got a ton already because I've spent all... I've got so many crests from doing this reward track so many times and so many extra keys. That I've just n completely not been using this. So I've got 187 there. That's a lot. And I can get a ton more, you know. For 25, I can get 5. That's madness. <laughs> you know, I can get 20 per 100. And that's just going to be crazy. So... You know, it's going to be worth trying to get these keys and then doing this farming. And it's very boring. It is very boring. But, you know, chuck on a movie, watch some Netflix, or catch up with some SPVP, of course. You could do that as well. Um, but, yeah, so buy these keys. I'll just buy, like, a couple of stacks to go over 200. And, uh, yeah, then we've got the keys. And the next part of this video is going to show you about how to get into the group to actually go for that chest farm in the first place and what you need to bring with you to actually do that. So, uh, yeah, next bit's coming up right now. Hello again, and basically this is the next bit. What we need to do now is get into a different map so that we can actually farm these chests, but we need to go on a chest um, run here. So we need to go into the looking for group tool. So top left, go to contacts and LFG, go to looking for group, which is the second tab, and then in the open world content section after, under the living world, you need to just try and find one of these looking for groups. Uh, where you can find the actual chest farming. So at the moment, da, 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 we've not got one, so we're going to have to wait, which is, you know, the only problem. Now, good time for the day to probably do this wouldn't be here. Ah, uh, this is, there we go, Silver Waste Chest Farm, there you go. <laughs> Just those awkward moments, you know. Da, 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 da. Farming chests, there we go. Okay. So we can just right click on these guys and then you go to join in the silver wastes. Now this should be the correct instance which you're going to join and uh, hopefully this is going to happen. They go, oh we can see a commander. Here we go. There's a commander right over here. So basically we need to get to that commander and see if they're doing that champ, uh, champ run actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to leg it over there quickly and uh, yeah, see you in a moment. Okay, everyone, we have found the champ run. This is the right map indeed. Now, as, as you can see, there well, you can't see because everyone's standing on. There's little mounds uh, where basically um, someone's giving me some fireworks. Uh, where you can use a spade to dig up the chest and then you get the chest. And you can see on the right hand side, I've got some piles of sand, a, a lump of that, and some more bandit crests there, and also a little embroidered coin purse as well. Didn't actually get a bag from that one, uh, which is unfortunate. But we're going to con continue to uh, do this for a little bit so you can just see what exactly you get. Now, it's not that difficult, you know, and people will have spades. But the one thing I would do, I'd, I would say to do as well, ideally, is to bring along some spades, you know. Because you don't want, you, you don't want to be a, a numpty. <laughs> so stick, you, you can stick them down there. And actually, uh, I might just stick that up there so we don't lose sight of what we're doing. I know I might have missed some on the way here, but that's not the important thing I'm trying to show you. Now, Magic Find affects the drops that you get, the things that you pick up from these. So no one's using uh, a spade now, so I'm going to use mine. 
that's if it wants to actually work. There we go, used it. Now, something unfortunately has not happened here. Or are we waiting for something specific? There we go, it's unlocked now. For some reason it took a while. So there we go, you get the um, broadly corn purse. Let's just open one of those. You can see that is actually the loot bag that we're talking about here. Um, we're going to do a couple of these. We've done three so far. You can see again, you know, the sand you get on the left hand side, which can give you more crests as well. So you can potentially even just keep doing this like for ages to give yourself some more cash. Now, it's very boring. It is very boring. But this is a good way to make money. I think apparently this is one of the best ways to get money in the game. And especially you can get access to this if you're a PvP quite easily. If you do decide to actually go and farm these. Um, these coin purses as well, you can see on the side. You get some cash every time you pick up the chests as well. Which is very useful. Um, but I would try and boost your magic find here. So what I would do, actually myself... Is I'd use my Lorelei Magic Fine Booster and also my regular Magic Fine Booster, as well as some food. You know, maybe I would pick up some. Um, and also, there's different events that go on here, so you can actually, you know, get some nice experience and stuff like that. And Bandit Crest from just hitting some of these events as you go past them. There you go. There's a large Bandit Crest there, chest there. Got another couple of bags. And we're just gonna do a couple of these. The um, magic find apparently only affects the loot that you get when you pick up the chest rather than the actual opening of the coin purses. Whereas, you know, in SPVP, the magic find actually affects, you know, the, the box that you're opening at the time. It's completely different. As obviously you're just getting cases all the time, you're not just getting raw kind of loot. So you can see that already from this, the bandit chest and crest I'm getting, I'm getting quite a few, which is enough to get some more keys. So if you run out, you can essentially just go back, buy some more, come back, because you're already in the map. And you can just catch up with these guys. And uh, this just keeps going and going and going, and you can get a nice amount of loot. I'm going to do a couple more of these. Um, and then I'll show you exactly what I've got. So we'll come back to me in a bit. Um, but yeah, things to remember, bring the keys. These are the things you need. You also need the spades as well. The shovel, sorry. And uh, yeah, just try and get into the map you can. And uh, see you very soon. Okay, so we're going to open this last chest over here. And then we're going to move back. And we're actually going to go and open these chests. Uh, now you can do this anywhere, but... I'm going to show you exactly, that you can see that eventually it made its way all the way over here. Now I've not done this a load of times, so I've done it for like two or three hours, then you know, even more. I'm actually even like, that. you can see they're coming right into the base. I'm actually going to use this here. Um, now, I would say wait until the chest farm goes round, I'm not sure how quickly they refresh. I've never actually been on, I think I've been through one round of this and then not really done much more so because that's all I could take so um, you know I think pretty much you can get into uh, tons of different maps where this is always going but let's just stand here you can see you know I've got still got a ton of crests I've got more than you know I got um, had before almost uh, but also from an event I got some extra crests as well and then I got a bag of gear but essentially this is the main thing we're getting from this and also I'm getting tons of this lumps of raw um, amber right there, so you can sell those which are just under a silver each. Uh, let's open one of those as an example. Um, oh, just actually uh, salvage it if I can find a salvage kit. So there we go, three stacks there. Let's sell at the trading post, see how much that gets. There you go, so one of those actually sells for where well, you can get three stacks for more. So you want to actually salvage those and then sell them if you would like to. So let's just do that. I only did about eight or so of these runs. Um, there you go, 13 silver for a stack of 26 of those. That's not too bad. Essentially, we want to just get some more crests, which is what happened from that, um, or would happen. Let's open the embroidered. See what we get. See if we get anything nice here. So already we got an onyx loaded stone. So let's have a look. You can sell that for just under a gold there, so that's not too bad. We did get some more silk, um, which is going to come out from these guys. I, I use one of these copper salvage sometimes, uh, which is quite useful actually as well. So, 
you know, I'm not going to do a massive video of showing you exactly what's going to drop from these, but I'm just giving you a little bit of an example of how much loot you can get. So there's a ton of loot here, and if we just, you know, we can go over to the vendor and just, uh, and literally from walking around and just doing this, and uh, you can get, you know, rares and exotics and whatnot as well, and you can get tons of useful stuff. So let's just sell some of this stuff as well. I've got my bags horrible because I've been running around on this guy for a while. Um, but yeah, da, 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 not too bad. Okay, so let's compact that. Deposit. I've deposited quite a few of those. So just as an example, here we go. Here's some loot. Probably not going to get anything special now. I've said that, but you know, there's another bag of gear there where we can get an extra few bits, and you can see this amount of silver that's coming up there as well. So. <laughs> really, this is what you can do as an extra thing when you're farming the uh, silver waste. This is the point of it. Doing the silver waste, doing the Maguma waste reward track can be used elsewhere. Whereas you can't really do that with the other tracks, you know. I mean, you can, you know, put the weapons into the Mystic Forge and whatnot. But I've only just been starting to do this and I'm making a ton of money, you know. I, I was always getting these crests and thinking, what the hell am I going to do with these? I don't do much PvE. Okay, I went and got Mordry stuff and recipes and things that I could use to sell. Which, of course, you could use as well to get different recipes um, back in the uh, dry top as well. To make different um, items which people need to make Mordry, for example, and other items. But, essentially, you know, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm just going in and, you know, picking up, you know, bits and pieces like this where I can just go, yeah, bam, I'll sell it for two silver and 64. I got some crests and uh, I bought some keys. You know, it didn't cost me any extra money and all it was was doing that and then going to doing the match the actual farm itself so if we go and have a look here you can see all it costs you is these bandit crests and that's what you get from the spvp reward track and then while you're here you can do the events and you can get some extra ones you always tag events as you're going around and you'll be able to get a little chest here and there it's just another way of making money so i thought i'd just tell you guys about it and uh you know as from an spvp side because there are tons of these videos out there telling you how to do this so uh, i was probably a little bit quick and flippant in the way i explained it but you can find the further videos about how to farm this really well and the best way to do it but this is just how i kind of came in and just thought this is the easiest way but i might do another video as well to show you how you can get the best route from spvp into this area but you want to be level 80 you can't be below that really because you will die so fast but i mean you could be you could, you could you know because you're just following a ton of people so it's really up to you you could be a bit lower but i would advise be level 80 so make sure you can get in here and get some nice stuff bits and pieces here that you can see um we got some you know Blood, that's rubbish but bits and bobs you know or some skill scrolls of knowledge um large large claws we you know we've got that onyx core we get other bits and pieces i've got tons of rares and exotics from this as well um buff your magic find you can see again you know this this stacks up as well this magic find the perseverance here so you get another 30 percent and that happens when you unlock a chest and not when you open the boxes so the extra that you get when you actually unlock the box um not when you double click the bag like i was so just thought I'd put it out there. Just a bit of extra stuff so you can earn some extra cash. If you're a bit bored as well and you want to watch a show and you think, you know, I'm not eating some food while I'm watching this show, so why don't I just do a little bit of farming? Anyway, uh, thanks very much. I'll see you very soon. Let me know what you think of this video and uh, if it's at all useful and if you're actually level 80 and wanted to do this in the first place. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you very soon, guys. Thank you very much for watching.